Okay. <laughs> All right. I think we're ready. Hey, everybody. <laughs> it's Monday. Um, thanks for watching um, today's practice with me session. Um, we will be going over the music that we learned this past Friday for the kids class and Saturday for the adults and teens class. Okay. I'm happy you're here. All right, so let's get started with the kids. All right, so pull out your lesson book, everybody. All right, we are going to be practicing this week a happy song, which is in the treble staff, and position C. Okay, that's that new C position on the grand staff. All right, so let's start with a happy song, all right? So this one, if you can, see if you can find your middle C, your right-hand thumb is gonna go on that C, okay? This song, you're gonna begin with a finger five right hand on G, okay? So let's just play through it one time to see how we're gonna do on it, okay? Let's count off. One, two, ready, play. So that song, a happy song, has some tricky spots in it, okay? So the best way to probably handle this, these tricky spots is to take them out, drill them, or build a taco or something fun, and we will put it right back into the spot that it needs uh, to, in order for the whole song to fit together really nicely, okay? I noticed that when I was playing, I had a little bit of trouble in the second line, the second measure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the whole second line um, and see if I can get through it at least maybe five times perfect. Now remember, I'm not gonna play these five times perfect in a row because then we would end up playing it probably close to a hundred times. <laughs> And that's kind of a lot for a beginner pianist. So let's see if we can do five times perfect to the second line. I'm also going to slow it down quite a bit. Okay. All right. So I'm going to find my spot. All right. Wonderful. I have my finger five on G, my finger one on middle C. And I am going to start that second line of a happy song on page 15. Count off nice and slowly. One, two, ready, play. Back up to E, down to D, up to E, F and G. One, two, three, four. Okay, that was one time, okay? Um, let's see if we can do it a second time, okay? All right, let's count off. One, two, ready, play. Back up to E, down to D, E and F, G. One, two, three, four. Awesome job. Okay, that was number two. Let's see if we can put number three now. Uh, in my head, I'm thinking of ice cream scoops, right? So let's put a third ice cream scoop on top of our cone, okay? We're aiming for five. <laughs> All right, let's count off. Second line, a happy song, page 15. One, two, ready, play. Up to E, down to D, back to E. That is amazing. Great work. Okay, two more ice cream scoops. Are you ready? 
Let's add another one. Okay, this is number four. This is the biggest ice cream cone ever. <laughs> All right, starting with a finger fives. One, two, ready, play. Up to E, down to D, up to E. one more okay everybody with me <laughs> this is our fifth time through of the second line of a happy song starting with the finger five on G ready one two ready play back up to E down to D up to E and F and G you do? <laughs> I'm imagining like this enormous ice cream cone with like five scoops. Now you just gotta like eat the whole cone now, right? Let's put the whole thing together, all right? I'm sure you're feeling a lot better about this song now that we got to work on that tricky spot in the second line, okay? Now let's put it together nice and forte, starting with a finger five, a happy song on page 15. All right, kids, let's do this. Let's find our spot. Okay, I'm in my spot. Are you in your spot? Great. All right, let's get started. One, two, ready, play. How'd you do? <laughs> Did you get through it? All right. Hey, I'm so proud of you guys. Very good. Yeah, so when we're learning about the different staffs, like we've got the bass staff and the treble staff, when we're reading on those five lines, it can get a little tricky if we're not paying a, a close attention to the notes. All right, so if you see the notes traveling down in the staff, you know that it's traveling down your hand, right? But if you see it traveling up in the staff, it's traveling up your hand, okay? Wonderful, well, great job on a happy song. Okay, should we do a cheer? <laughs> How about a clap down? <laughs> Let's do it, okay. Clap down! <laughs> Let's do the other way. Clap down! <laughs> nice work. Okay, let's turn the page. <laughs> Okay, so C position on the grand staff. This one here was really looking at how we combine those two staffs, right? The bass staff and the treble staff. You make a sandwich, right? The treble staff is stacked on top of the bass staff and all of your notes are like all the stuff you put on your sandwich, right? Like lettuce and tomato and mayonnaise and cheese and bacon and avocado and whatever. <laughs> That's what makes it flavorful and sound good, right? <laughs> Very nice. So let's use our grand staff and let's create something really wonderful here for our song position C, okay? Now this one here is going to be on page 17. We note also that both of our hands are gonna be playing this song, okay? So let's find our spot. Let's see. Okay, wonderful. So I'm going to put my right hand in that C position. I have my thumb on middle C. My pinky right hand is on G. And then I'm gonna find where my left hand goes. Do you remember? We have to count down three notes from middle C. So let's count down. Starting on middle C, we go down to B, that's one. Down to A, that's two. And down to G, that's three. That note right there is gonna be where your left hand finger one, th 
thumb goes, okay? So fan them out. I'm in my spot. Did you find your spot? <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so we're going to start here with the left hand, position C, starting with the finger five on C. Ready? One, two, ready, play. Switch to the right hand. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. How'd you do? Was that one good? Did you get through it okay? Wonderful. Yeah, so this one here is a little bit more straightforward, I think. Um, there aren't, there isn't any funny business going on with the notes, right? You start at the bottom on your C and you travel up and then you travel back down to where you started. So that's kind of nice to have a song like that. So I think since it's so simple, let's see if we can just play through position C like, um, what do you think, four times, right? Let's do that. And I'm going to build a grilled cheese because I, I kind of want a grilled cheese for lunch today. <laughs> so let's do a grilled cheese. Let's start with our bottom slice of bread, okay? This is our bottom slice of bread. Here we go. Starting position C, we're going to play through the whole thing, okay? You ready? One, two, ready, play. some really good bread. Did you put butter on yours? <laughs> I did. <laughs> okay, so next in our grilled cheese, we're going to put a really yummy thick slice of cheddar cheese. Okay, are you ready? Let's put some cheddar cheese on there, all right? Starting with the left hand. One, two, ready, play. I liked that cheddar cheese. Now, I said four times through, right? So that means we have to add something to our uh, grilled cheese. We could either put another slice of bread or maybe we have like some leftover turkey or some ham. We could do like a turkey or a ham melt. That would be so good. Let's do a slice of ham. Yeah, let's put some ham on there. Okay, all right. Counting off. One, two, ready, play. fantastic great work Ooh, yeah I have a suggestion oh I think someone put pickles on theirs that sounds pretty interesting I've never had pickles on a grilled cheese before but that's okay if you like that you put that on your grilled cheese okay so for our last time through let's put that last slice of bread okay with some butter let's do it all right last time through on position C one two ready play Two, three, four. 
right now, I think it's obvious what we're gonna have for lunch today. <laughs> so grilled cheese is for sure in our in our house. Uh, well, I'm so proud of you for doing your practice today, kids. Very good job. Um, if you need to, you can replay this video every day this week to get that practice in on your songs, okay? I'm so proud of you. I'll see you on Friday for a lesson, okay? So kids, you are finished. <laughs> All right.